Hi everyone. Today I'm going to teach you about the Doppler effect, but I'm going to zero in on the Doppler effect on sound. But it must be noted that the Doppler effect does not only affect sound, but it also affects light as well. Let's talk about how it affects or its effect on sound. Now, the Doppler effect is an everyday phenomenon. The same thing that happens when you are standing by the traffic lights and a car approaches you, Let's say it's an ambulance. As the ambulance comes towards you, the sound becomes louder and when it moves away from you, the sound becomes less louder until you cannot hear the sound anymore. That's the Doppler effect. But we need to explain more the physics of the Doppler effect. What happens when the sound becomes louder as the ambulance moves towards you? Or what happens when the sound becomes less louder as it moves away from you. Okay, let me just show you this on a white on a whiteboard here, and you can see what's going on. All right. Now, if you are standing, that means that you're not moving. That means that your velocity is equal to zero. We'll call you the listener, and the velocity of the listener is equal to zero meters per second. The source is moving towards you. So the source being the ambulance, the one producing the sound, is moving towards the listener. Now, as the source moves towards the listener, and because sound is being produced, the siren is on and it's ringing, or the horn is on and it's, and it's, it's making noise or it's making sound. The source moves towards the listener. Each particular wave is emitted from a position closer to the listener than the previous wave. That's a very important thing to understand. As the source moves towards listener, each wave is emitted from a position closer to the listener than the previous one. This means that the wavelength, and this is the symbol for wavelength, the wavelength of the sound decreases. Or you can say the waves are compressed. So the wavelength of the sound decreases or the waves are compressed. When the waves are compressed, the frequency of the sound increases. So there's an increase in the frequency of the sound by virtue of the fact that the wavelength decreased or each wave was emitted from positions closer to the listener than the previous one. Because the source is producing the sound, we'll call the frequency produced by the source FS, frequency of source, while the frequency that is being listened to or observed by the listener is FL. In the scenario of the source moving towards the listener, the frequency of the listener will be greater than the frequency of the source. This means that when you're defining Doppler effect, you will say Doppler effect is the apparent change in the frequency that is observed by the listener due to relative motion between the source and the listener. In other words, the Doppler effect is only making sense when there is relative motion between source and listener and what the listener observes as frequency, FL, will be different from what the frequency of the source is. In the case of the source moving towards the listener, it means that the frequency of the listener is greater than the frequency of the source. If you were to show it on a diagram, and on a particular beautiful diagram, I have one here. If you were to show it, it would look something like this. All right, so there you have it. You have something like this. It means that you've got a particular listener who is stationary, or has brought it as stationary observer in this case, and then the source is moving towards this particular listener. Let me try to annotate this so that it looks a bit nicer right there. All right. So if you look at it here, the source is moving, the listener is stationary. The waves are compressed. Wavelength decreases. Because wavelength decreases, the frequency will increase in this case. And therefore, the frequency that is actually observed by the listener will be greater than the frequency actually that's being produced 
by the source. What happens then if this case now, the source is moving away from the listener? Now the source is moving away from the listener. Let me try to sort that out now. Let me clear the drawings. There we are. Now this time, the source moves away from a stationary observer. Now, when the source moves away from a stationary observer, each wave is emitted from a position further from the listener than the previous one. That means that the wavelength increases and the frequency will decrease. I wrote it now for you nicely. The wavelength increases and the frequency decreases. If you want it, FL is less than FS frequency of listener is less than the frequency of the source. In a diagram format, as you can see, the Doppler effect coming into life, this is the stationary observer right there. And now the waves are more spaced. They are further apart. Wavelength will increase, frequency will decrease, and then the pitch and the loudness also will decrease. That is the Doppler effect. Very important for you to understand that. Now, in terms of calculations as to how you calculate with the Doppler effect, it's pretty straightforward. There's a relationship between the frequency of the listeners, the frequency of the source, the velocity of the listener, the velocity of the source, as well as the speed of the sound right there. Okay, the formula says FL is equal to V plus or minus VL, over V plus or minus Vs multiplied by Fs. In other words, the frequency of the listener right there is related to speed of sound, which is V, and related to Vl, velocity of listener, Vs, velocity of source. Remember that V is speed of sound. And then all this multiplied by Fs, which is frequency of the source. Notice that frequency is measured in hertz. That's always very important. Velocity in meters per second. In scenarios where the listener is stationary, listener is stationary, notice that VL must always be equal to zero. Now, we need to know how to actually change this formula depending on the scenario. Well, I've got a couple of scenarios for you here. I put them in a table. Let me clear the drawings first right there, then show you the scenarios on the table. What happens in certain situations right here? Now, if the source moves towards the listener, from that equation that we have, if the source moves towards the listener, it means to me, or it means to us, that Vs is negative, there you are, while Vl is zero. That's very important, as long as the listener is stationary. If the source moves away from the listener, Vs positive, Vl zero. It is possible, it is very possible that you could have a scenario like the third one and the fourth one, where the listener moves towards the source. In other words, the source is stationary in this case, the listener is moving. Still the Doppler effect is alive. Velocity of listener, positive. Velocity of source, zero. If the listener moves away from the source, VL, negative, while VS is zero right there. So basically, that's the Doppler effect. But what is important again, as we go through the last part of it quickly right now, is to understand that the Doppler effect is only possible if there is relative motion. If the velocity of the listener is zero, the velocity of the source is also zero, this means that the frequency of the listener becomes equal to the frequency of the source. As long as frequency of listener is equal to frequency of source, it means that velocity of listener and velocity of source are the same. There is no relative motion. This is very important to remember as we talk about the Doppler effect. The calculations for the Doppler effect are also very interesting, but I want you to remember and know that this is how they look like. Okay, now I just put something here for you to see. This is how these are my contacts, just in case you wanna get in touch with me as we try to learn more about this. I'll be making more videos as we go on along, but it's important that's my number. Same thing that you can use for WhatsApp or same number for WhatsApp. I've got my email, my YouTube, my Facebook, as well as my Instagram pages that you can use. I'll be posting more videos. Let's keep learning. All the best. May you stay all strong and all hardworking, never giving up on yourself. See you guys soon enough. Take care.